The naval battle off St. John took place on July 14, 1696, between France and England toward the end of King William's War in the Bay of Fundy off present-day St. John, New Brunswick. The English ships were sent from Boston to interrupt the supplies being taken by French officer Pierre Lemoyne de Beville from Quebec to the capital of Acadia, Fort Nashwark on the St. John River. The French ships of war Envieux and Profond captured the English frigate Newport, while the English frigate Sawlings and a provincial tender escaped. Background In 1696, King William's War was in its seventh year. Deberville was about to be engaged in the siege of Pemaquid, the New England stronghold in present-day Maine. Deberville sailed from Rochefort, Chironde Maritime to Quebec City, where he took on board 80 troops and Canadians, then proceeded to Havre à Langlouisa, Cape Breton and embarked 30 MIKMAQ, and departed for the Saint. John River. While at nearby Bay des Espagnols, Deberville heard two English vessels were in the Bay of Fundy and decided to attempt to capture them. On July 5, 140 natives, with Jacques Tested de Montigny and Chevalier, from their location of Manawoganish Island, ambushed the crews of four English vessels. Some of the English were coming ashore in their longboats to get firewood. A native killed five of the nine men in the boat. The MIKMAQ burned the vessel under the direction of Father Florentine. Battle On 14 July, five leagues from St. John River, Deberville cast anchor in the fog. At 200 the fog began to clear and the French ships could see the three English vessels to windward, bearing directly for the river street. John when they were one league off, the English observed the French vessels, and bore down on them. Commander Simon Pierre Denis de Bonaventure, captain of the French ship Profonde masked her wall-like character, keeping her ports closed until within musket shot. Both English vessels opened fire on the French ships. Bonaventure opened the ports on the Profonde and the English ships kept windward, and realizing they were outgunned, endeavored to escape. The Profonde tried to gain the wind on them, and Deberville in the Envieux followed, contending with stormy weather. Deberville, in the Envieux, fired upon the English frigate Newport, under the command of Captain Paxson, dismasting her. The prize falling astern, came almost aboard the bow of the Envieux, and lowered her flag. M. Deberville left her to be manned by M. de Bonaventure, who gave her to Baptiste to take her to the River Street. John, at which place he almost lost her among the rocks where she ran aground. Deberville in the Envieux continued to chase the larger ship the Solings, under the command of Captain Eames. The shot of the French ship passed beyond the chase, but night and fog closed their combat, which had lasted three hours, and the English ship escaped. Aftermath On July 15, 1696, the day after the battle, Deberville entered St. John Harbour. After discharging stores for capital of Acadia at Fort Nashwark, Deberville took on board 50 more MIKMAQ and Pair Simon on August 2, 1696 set sail for Penobscot. While at St. John he repaired the Newport and added the ship to his fleet. At Penobscot, where they arrived August 7, they found Villeneuve and Montigny with 25 Canadians, Thurry, Father, St. Caston, Sr., and 300 Indians waiting for them. On 14 the August, Deberville led them all in the siege of Pemaquid. The Sawlings upon its escape sailed for Boston. On reaching Boston the Sawlings found two English warships and an armed merchant vessel. The four ships then sailed east to provide assistance to an expected attack by the French on Portsmouth. The English vessels spotted the Envieux and Profonde near Mount Desert but the French were able to make an escape. Bibliography France and England in North America A Series of Historical Narratives Part 5 by Francis Parkman Chapter 18 P. 388 Beamish Murdoch A History of Nova Scotia or Acadie Volume 1 James Barnes Printer and Publisher 1865 Hannay, James. The History of Acadia, From Its First Discovery to Its Surrender to England. 
John Clarence Webster, Acadia at the end of the 17th century. St. John, N.B., The New Brunswick Museum, 1979. Primary sources According to Baldwin, who gives these details, there was no one in the French ships injured even by a wound, and he says that the Indians on board behaved well. Vilbon's Journal